Hey folks, Swip here, and today begins the largest project I have ever attempted in this hardcore world. Yes, larger than the world tree, even larger than a whole nother perimeter, or removing the entire end to build another tree. And you know what? I am so excited for this project. I'm going to completely transform multiple biomes into a new beautiful landscape. I recently posted a short asking for people to subscribe, and I had placed 25 blocks on this project, and well... I currently owe 108,000 blocks. So in my excitement for this project, let's make it even worse. For every new subscriber on this video, I'll add another 25 blocks to the count because I want this to be crazy massive. So leave a like and let's get blocking. This river serves as the southern border of my new crazy terraforming project. So to me, it makes sense to start here and fix up the riverbed before moving on. Stage one, I want to connect the river to the ocean as it's already fairly close. I made sure to grab nine empty shulker boxes for from my base before jumping over here. Setting all those boxes down, I did start to clear out all of the trees in the areas as I need all of the materials I can get to bring this project together. So we're keeping all the, the leaves, logs, dirt, and you name it, it goes in the box. Quickly, a good chunk of the surrounding forest just disappeared. In this newly opened up space, I set up a beacon as we might have the line of sight now, but it's gonna be pretty difficult to get a boat to the ocean currently. Haste 2 Electric Boogaloo is ready to go. So I started to tear down the dirt on top and reshaped our hillside to come down to a much more natural riverbed so it could be something passable for now. We do need a river, so I dug down six or seven blocks across the entire section and replaced the stone with dirt as I went. Along the bottom, we are deep into the stone layer, so I had to do one more round, a little bit more intensive this time, placing all of the dirt across the new bottom of the river. Now for the most painful part, I turned all of the water into source blocks as it really bugs me as a Minecrafter when I see flowing water in the middle of a body of water. Yes, that includes all the way down here for the source blocks. But look at our nice new river leading all the way out to the ocean, minus a sandbar in the way. Oh, it's a turtle. Hi, buddy. I just now have nine shulker boxes full of so much junk. I want to be smart with this project here as we're going to be picking up a ton of blocks as we go today. So I'm going to be dropping all this stuff back off in their respective storage rooms instead of being a bad Minecrafter and tossing it all on my front porch. We now have an extra for 10 empty shulker boxes and it is time to venture back over over to the project site where next i need to clear out the entire oak forest going back nearly 30 blocks from the river let's just set ourselves back up in here next to the good popo hi buddy and i guess i got a forest to chop down oh still good to go and so is the x i am just now realizing how stupidly massive of a project i'm starting with this one even though i've said it a few times already I, it hasn't really set in quite yet until i've nearly spent an hour clearing out all of these trees for this small section of the forest that I need to clear out hopefully the entire thing today, but we'll see if that's going to happen. One very busted netherite hoe here. And we have almost five shulker boxes full of our oak leaves. Let me finish off this last one here real quick. Much better. We've already cleared out a pretty massive chunk of the forest with that entire stretch, but I need to take this all the way down outside of render distance. Whew, that's a big project. We can put the shulkers full of oak leaves right in here. Never mind. That's already full of oak leaves. Oak leaves go in the shulker. Shulkers go in the oak leaf box. Whip go into nether. Ow. Well, actually here into the end as I've got to repair up all of my tools at the Enderman farm. <laughs> There we go, fully repaired. Now I think I was a smart Minecrafter and I left my bed, I did. <laughs> Look at me, oh, I'm so smart. Oh, I have to go back anyways. I forgot to get more empty shulker boxes. That's much better, much, much better. Just need to get my nether at hoe back and uh, we're off. I wanna keep gathering up all of these oak leaves as I go through them so quickly. A few episodes ago, I did use nearly six shulker boxes full of them on my custom forest. So I'm very happy to be restocking the storage room a little bit for now as there will be many many custom trees on top of this future custom biome we make if we ever make it through this river section just like that i've got a pretty decent amount of space cleared out now oh oh sorry sorry 
Uh, let, let me come back over there. I did also reveal this beehive, which I blocked up. So I think we have some friends inside we can grab. Quick rocket flight all the way back to the shulker mess. We've got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more shulkers of oak leaves and some change in my inventory. Along with an extra birch and almost a second. And I did fill up most of the logs inside of here too. This is a lot of stuff. Quick flight up here into the clouds and we are half, halfway. May maybe that's oh geez we now have 14 shulker boxes of oak leaves and two and almost a third shulker box of birch leaves that feels like a pretty healthy amount to have for me right now and we almost have two double chests of oak logs but i think i'm just gonna go back to uh chopping the trees down instead of gathering all of our leaves mostly because both of my hoes are pretty busted and i don't want to repair them again i just want to get this done the shulker box is set up in the soon to be not a forest and i took a little nap to bring back the sunshine and back to the tree chopping i go as i really want to move on to that next step here soon i can't even begin the terraforming project until all of these trees are out of the way so i can start to build up the land and raise up the elevation of this entire region which is going to be very important for the future world's lore okay maybe there is a little lore behind this world it's fine we are halfway through another netherite axe and we've got ourselves a little under two shulker boxes of logs here with some other random goodies as these last leaves to spawn the entire north side of our river is cleared out i'll probably have to take this back a little farther with the spruce trees but this this is cleared this is it's fine it's cleared and it's time to switch to the shovel as i want this river to have a pretty large impact for our terrain as it's kind of the main thing separating everything so it feels a little weird when it gets to be this skinny so we can take a few of these points where it does get to be a wee bit skinnier along the edge and for now we're just gonna be dropping it down ever so slightly so that we can expand the width of the river especially in spaces like this yeah we've really got to bring this one back eventually i do want to redo the entire opposite side too but uh we're just a little crazy today we're not completely crazy fancy and open this is the perfect campus to mess up even further and hopefully eventually maybe make it look a little good yeah i hope i'm supposed to be placing blocks here but all i've done today is break nearly 60,000 blocks wrong way <laughs> wrong way for the counter to go but with the river finally widened out it's time to start landscaping let's go over the plan i want to create a flatland area here for some farmland regions along the river's edge before adding in a cliff along the backside now that's a little boring and kind of straight liney so i want to also break that up with some new waterways that we can keep going up into the hill and our future mountains that are going to be coming in. I find Minecraft riverbeds look the best with like one or two blocks of dirt right along the edge of the water. And then we bring it up to our grassy edge here and gradually start working our way up, sloping it ever so smoothly. Minecraft by default looks like if the river were to rise at all, it would just flood half of the space around it. So I want to kind of build in a natural elevation so that it looks like the river could raise or lower depending on the season. So in some spaces that does mean i need to bring this out a good chunk throwing a quick third layer in here to give a good example before we carry this throughout the rest of our landscape this is definitely going to take a lot of blocks to carry across the entire region but i'm really happy with how this is looking already lots of little places to fiddle with but that to me looks so much better than default minecraft terrain this is going to take a lot of grass blocks to complete the terrain for now i'm going for the base shape and we can detail it all later on and add more life in here as we go i'm very happy to finally be placing blocks instead of breaking so i want to really focus on just getting the rough shape in for now finished all the way from our first river right there to where the second waterway is going to be coming in right at this line and we have over 3,000 blocks placed so far but i'll be honest i don't think it's quite wide enough to really do much building along here so i'm pretty happy i cleared all the trees out back to there i don't want this to get much steeper but i'm thinking we can bring it up to about here and then we're above the tree line again this is just the base shape we're gonna really mess it up as we come back in later and add in like rocks and things i i just want this in for now i've added a few more lines here to help shape out my vision for this train a little bit better we've got a river coming up here this is going to be steeper as we have this higher hill section i'm thinking the mountain up there and i want to incorporate a few areas where we can walk up to our next layer of so so it's not just a harsh solid line of a cliff going across i want it to feel much 
much more natural so that's what this line's helping to signify for now i did go through two shulker boxes worth of our dirt and grass already so before this terrain underneath turns a little too chaotic we should probably jump down here and start gathering up a little bit First shulker box is filled up and there's the second shulker of dirt excuse me while i take care of some visitors <laughs> no no back back in the fire please back in, thank you <laughs> Ow, that's right between my eyes time to get back to work placing down everything i just gathered up from within the terrain trying to extend our new grass level even further back from the river to where we can start the first cliffs as is tradition we also now have a mob spawner underneath the terrain uh-oh. Before I fully commit to this landscaping idea and send it all the way down around the corner, I'm really trying to use this hundred or so block stretch as a bit of a test spot. I do have a third shulker of grass blocks here, and I did stop at where I want that second mountain stream to be coming down, so I'm thinking we need to extend a little bit further beyond that. So on the far side of our second river, we can place down all of this here to finish off the distance of our test for our lower section today. Now, I am really liking this, but... Uh, it's very bland and I also don't want to super detail it quite yet so we can add some rocks I think we can mess up the train even further by coming down here and just adding in a bunch of our stones so that we can create these large boulders on the river edge we've done a few bits like this before but this should help a good amount and then behind all of this we can just extend the dirt up even more which will kind of ruin the perfect almost grid shape lines that I have so far this is really going to help to mess that up even more I don't want it to be too tall or really everywhere but i think little bits like that are gonna work maybe we can come and do one like right here and even a little bit of dirt thrown on top of this so it doesn't actually go all the way back which will help ruin the slope of just always going up we can have a little bumps here and there ignore the one thick dirt terrain going under here we can just throw another rock to hide that and wow look it's too thick back here oh wow amazing first stretch is done and yeah i think a little bit like that is going to help a lot we got to add a lot more details in here eventually but just trying to get the base shapes in for now rocks are looking pretty good along here and one thing that is also really bugging me is this so i went back home and got a ton of mud i i mean a ton a ton of mud and i want to start by tearing out this lowest layer here to create that river border feel here with our mud on this lowest layer just to make it pop out a bit more we'll probably mess it up even further as we're moving later but for now this can get the idea across we're just gonna listen to all these lovely sounds of mud placing oh yeah listen to that one yep one of the best blocks to place in the game I think I brought a little bit too much mud the entire trim is now in place on this side of the river I missed a block now it's in place well at least up to the end of our test plot I'm kind of working in the phase right now where you're beginning a painting and you're just like blocking out all of the different colors we have the green of our grass we have our mud down here and we got the little bit of the gray patches of our stone in place with that I am very happy with how this process has come together so far on the landscape but a very important step in the process of being creative is to stop looking at the thing you're messing around with so it's time for a little bit of a break from this landscape it is looking pretty good though as I'm starting a massive project in the overworld it got me thinking back to the world map hall in my castle I'd like to change up this central room and create an aquarium in the four corners with a big glass tank above the room to get started I do need to copy the designs of my existing archways around to the other two future halls that will be extensions leading out there eventually then we can clear back the space in between the two established halls so I can know how much room I have to work with in between all of the maps before we repeat this to the other three corners exposing a few caves made this a lot quicker and and I threw in some glass in front to seal off the tanks for now. For a light inside of each of the fish tanks, I'm installing a polished blackstone ceiling, and then I put some frog lights in to add a little light coming down before we can pick up everything needed to detail out the tanks. I want to bring in some blue for our tanks here, so I'm using blue wool at the base and then light blue terracotta for the rest of the walls to help contrast against the mangrove that we've already used in the hall itself before starting to fill up the tanks with our water. Now, I realized I hate the regular glass. It's just too big busy so I removed it all and threw in some blue stained glass panes in instead for a little bit of an update in the hall itself things are looking pretty good with all four tanks ready to have some different colors added to them with our coral so I'm thinking we can take four different types of coral and do one in each of them get a few rocks in there and of course our fish with my favorite fish he's still hanging out right here look how cool he looks saved him from an axolotl just believe he's going in the tank with the outside of the tank sorted and water added in it was time to build a much more fun environment 
environment for our fishies to hang out in. So I'm theming each of the corner tanks after a different color of coral to make them feel a little more unique, starting with our pink coral here. Before I commit to this idea all the way around, I want to see one fully finished, so I jumped out to the coral reef near New Papyrus to pick up a few tropical fish to bring back home. I'm adding about 10 fish to the first tank here, as I don't want to overfill it with too many entities, but overall, I'm actually pretty happy with how this looks. So I continued to build out the different tanks with the different coral colors, minus the blue coral, as that won't pop out too much behind our blue glass, so I left it out for now. We do need another 30 or so fish which means i'm back out at the coral reef to try and catch a bunch of different types of fish only bringing home at most four of a single type so we can have a little bit of variety for our friends swimming around quickly dropping each of them into their own tanks and evenly spreading the fish groups around i did try to keep the same types of fish together so they can all stay with their friends i mean i'm not that evil to take them away from their home and their friends no 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 just just taking them away from their home is enough now for something a little bit more fun, we could say. I want to build another massive tank for some bigger fishies to hang out in the ceiling, which required digging out another massive chunk from our mountain we're working inside of. Of course, I had to fill this with water before I put Quippin' Guardians with our Quippin' Lasers on their Quippin' Heads inside of the tank, as it's time for the big fish heist. First step, I need a portal here above our tank. Then we fly south to a temple that I've already cleared the Elder Guardians from, so it should be a safer journey. Then setting up another nether portal underwater at the temple, we can use to bring the Guardians home on the roof of the nether, where I went through the process of building a minecart track to connect those two portals up over across our roof. With the portals complete, I am preparing for chaos and a long time underwater, so I brewed up a few water breathing potions. Then starting my journey of trying to get five living Guardians to willingly go through another portal while I got constantly zapped by them. I eventually put some soul sand down to create bubble columns and then added a dirt ceiling sticking out from the portal so I could trap the guardians in here and slowly push them into the portal. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. He swam out. Go, 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 go. Yes, he went through. He went through. No, I need to go through. Thank you. Sorry. Goodbye. Very important job. Oh, we got a guardian and he's gone. He's through the portal. <laughs> we have a guardian in the tank. <laughs> Run into the portal. Run in. Run into. I think he's. I think he went through. I think he went through. Yes. 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 Oh, we got two through. Okay, buddy. Come here. Come. Get back here. He's juking me, man. I thought I was a fisherman. <gasps> Where's that at? His <laughs> Off you go, buddy. Off you go. Forward. Go and do it. Yes. Okay, that should be five guardians in the tank. This was a massive success. Look at that. We've got five live guardians in our ceiling fish tank. And all of our fish tanks around are looking so dang cool. I've still got to figure out what I want to do down here. But you know what? I think I'm ready to get back to work on the terrain. I never really get to see the sunrise in this world. Oh, it looks so nice. Look at that. For the next step in the project, I need a lot of stone. Thankfully, I have a lot of stone. Back at the landscape now, I want to start adding in some more elevation. We can take the idea of the boulders from our previous mountain over there to link this landscape together with that one. So I grab some moss, stone, and dirt to start shaping out our first cliff face as a bit of a test plot. I want to include multiple green spaces at different levels and have that greenery really interwoven with all of the stones that we're implementing here with our boulders. Just ran out of dirt, so let's see what this first section looks like. And I think I like it. I. I actually really think I like that. So my plan is as we're incorporating the moss and then we stretch farther up here, I want to create a bit more of a highland feel, which is going to be turning a lot of our dirt that we have here actually into our path blocks. I am going to need to come back through and fill in the little gaps like that, but we can also use this as a way to stop the grass from growing any further. And I think it's just going to be so, so cool to have this almost like yellowy grass tone from a distance. It's just, oh, it's going to look so good. Going to be an absolute pain in the butt to work with as the majority of our train is not going to be made out of grass but 
what? I, I think I'm here for it. I want to make something unique and cool. So uh, this is this is how we do that. A lot of pain and suffering and extra hours of placing and fiddling with blocks. I'm still trying to find some new ideas for blocks to incorporate into the train. So let me know what you think would be a good match for what we've already shown in here. But for now, I did put another hour on the clock just to see how much of this train I could finish off. And I got to say, I think this is looking pretty good from down here. And we are currently up to... Y101 all the way from 62. So that is looking really, really good. I want to keep setting the rocks up a little bit higher before we move into a more plateaued region that we can actually, you know, build some stuff on top of. Now, I did show y'all that I used the path block right over here, but the side is pretty heavy on the dirt. I used to have a mod that connected them, but it unfortunately it doesn't work with my instance anymore. So I did try making this texture here, bringing the path block down a little farther. I'm not sure I like it up close, but from back here, it definitely helps get the idea across. Let me know what y'all think about that down in the comments. I'm going to leave it for now and see if I start to enjoy it more. But for now, I have completely run out of dirt and I've nearly run out of moss and we're a good chunk of the way into our stone too. From the top of the pillager castle, that's looking pretty good off in the distance. Okay, I like it from back here. Quick trip back to world spawn. Let's turn the moss arm on and hope that it works. And it is perfect. Well, that's running. I've got something very important to do. I've got to plant a field. Even though I'm already 30 hours into this hardcore episode, you best believe I'm going to be planting a field like I do in every single episode of this nearly 6,300 day old world. Looking back to see everything I've done over the series is absolutely awesome. And I really love the consistent bit to add something new to our world every episode. Just like I absolutely love when you subscribe to my channel. YouTube has been a little weird recently so I really do appreciate all of your support on the videos here. So be sure to leave a like as well for me to celebrate Field 59. No idea how I hadn't put a field here already, but we've got ourselves another wheat field. Hopefully we now have a lot of moss in here that we can use for some building and oop, that's looking good. <laughs> wow! I was not expecting this to be completely full. I did bring an extra box just in case. So we now have two shulker boxes full of moss and it's time to get back to work. We have two spots I want to extend up for the rivers reaching into the new landscape that I've been creating. Before we can get into that, however, I do want to raise the landscape a little bit further. As I've been looking at it, I think it's going to really need it. Increasing the height before we move into adding any permanent features like water, that'd be an absolute pain to move. Sounds like a much better better idea. And my goal here is to build some larger boulders than we've had so far, as this will help kind of signify the end of this sloped region before we start to level things off a little bit further and go much more gradual to have a space that we can build on. First one's in and I literally just brought it to be even with the other rock. Uh... <laughs> Oops. And we still actually need to work a good way over there because that's where the river comes down. I'm thinking this could be a waterfall, so it could be a bit steeper. But let's actually get that height I was talking about right back in here. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, I decided to jump to the other side and work on that river as my cliff was a little bit closer to where I wanted to go. I just needed to extend the dirt up a bunch. I'd like this river to have a pretty smooth elevation gain going up to our next dirt layer, which means I need to clear out a few more of our trees. Oh my... It has gotten dark and spooky underneath here. Ooh, I kind of forgot about that. Excuse me. No, you're a future problem. No, nope. excuse me. All of you future problems. If this has a little bit of a canyon effect, that's okay with me for our river. I want to work by first extending up a dirt line here. That's going to be marking out the base shape. And we need to be gaining a lot more height than this. Okay, I guess that means it's time to sleep. That's looking pretty good for a base slope for the river. Now, just a little bit wider. I'm not too sure how I want this to look in the end, but for now, we're going with three wide on the river, and I'm really hoping that it works. But I'm already kind of thinking for the presence of the whole terrain, it definitely needs to be more than just a block deep. First layer of water is in, and that looks pretty pretty good, but I do think it could be a touch wider. Moving forward with adding that second layer of water to the river, I wanted to really stick this terrain into the landscape, so I added some more rocks and actually linked it into our existing hillside. This project is taking so long to get off the ground, quite literally off the ground, but man, it is turning out to be so cool. I can't wait for this view here with like a big towering mountain raising up back there. Oh, I just need to get back to actually extending all of our path blocks going up here to get that golden color for the terrain.
Now, I may live to regret this decision, but with our path block color in here, I want to, instead of putting tall grass around, we're gonna put little patches of wheat to get that golden wheat color that I have. And no, I'm not gonna bother with actually hydrating the fields. These are just gonna really, really slowly grow up. Maybe a little can maybe be hydrated down here next to the actual river. Right, there's a whole stack of wheat placed down, and uh, maybe by the end of this episode, it'll actually be grown up and we can see what it'll look like. Well, that slowly grows. Let's refocus on the second river section this one right over here i want it to consistently slope up as we're going but then i'd like a waterfall as i mentioned i want a much taller mountain here so i think the steeper terrain will make a lot more sense so maybe we actually start that right here once we fill it in with water source blocks all of this grass should turn back into dirt right if we just have a wall coming straight down of water that's gonna be really 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 boring yeah that's yep mm -hmm. so we can start by breaking it off here so it kind of is falling at different levels and has a little bit more of a dynamic feel to it. That brings us about halfway. Maybe we go a little bit taller. Okay, that's about halfway. It is just kind of straight though. So what if instead we bring it off this direction a little bit farther? Little moss up here just to show it's really lush or along where the water's coming down. That should be long enough for a little bit of water to pool up here. And then we can start taking ourselves directly up again again and i want to see if i can make this at slightly an angle coming even further over this way right i think i've got the waterfall finished up and that's looking pretty good okay i like it let's get some dirt down here well actually some, some grass because i'm almost out of my dirt this is definitely turning into more mountain stream vibes which i think i'm okay with right now we'll see once the water's in here first water source there oh that's looking so good look at it and now we can work our way down slowly first one's looking pretty good right there i only had to add one extra water source right there to move it over a touch and then down here i think this should do the trick yeah oh i like that everything's looking pretty good until right here so i think i'm actually gonna get rid of that and bring our grass back in a touch and then just let the water flow back out i think that's just a touch more natural now we could definitely use a little bit more terrain connecting to our new waterfall so i set off to link the base section up to our existing terrain we have about 20 blocks away and there we go we now have the second mountain river connected down to the main river i am running into a little bit of a problem however i mostly just have grass left and the place i really should have been getting my dirt from before well <laughs> yeah it's a little bit of a mess let's grab ourselves a few more of our empty shulker boxes in here and uh, i've got a few torches we can bring too that should hopefully do it and because i don't want grass on top we'll get rid of our silk touch shovel and just bring this regular guy okay let's see how this goes yep it's uh creepers are probably gonna gather up a lot of this dirt for me probably need actual food on my hop art no oh, there's so many things forgot my pork chops i need my pork chops not the children stupid children okay let's just get down here and if we can light up the area where i already tore the dirt out earlier that can create a little bit of like a safe haven for us there are so many skeletons here what is going on yes oh it worked i don't think i have that one yet right there we go we've got everything in here killed now that i can really see and it's going great it's i'm having a great time this is going great no 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 no, no. oh i thought it died not again no 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 not my dirt not my dirt no oh there's a <laughs> And here we go. All six shulker boxes are now full of dirt. Ah, piece of cake. Oh, that was so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Time to take all my shulker boxes and get the heck out of here. And I guess make it even spookier by placing all this deck down on top. 
I didn't really think that through quite yet. With all of that done, we can come up here and to start filling in all of this random open spaces that I still have sitting around as I've got seven shulker boxes of dirt that I can start working with to keep extending this terrain going up. That's looking pretty good filled in up here. And I just noticed some of our wheat has actually grown up and that I really like the look of it. I can't wait for it to all be this like yellowy stage oh it's gonna look so good now we can just extend all of the path block action coming up to here further using the shovel even more yep i've decided i'm gonna really like this a lot once we extend it even further back before i get too carried away i have something important to work on down here is what i'm calling the thumbnail moment why well because i need a thumbnail and uh that back there doesn't work too well for that okay since this section of terrain is already higher let's put a mountain here taking a little inspiration from from the first mountain I want this to look like an extension of the same mountain range pushing back up into the sky after the valley was formed so we need rocks gradually extending further up as we step back from the river let's start by making a few tall pillars of our stone to make sure the height come on it's right before I commit too much time shaping everything out definitely gonna be much steeper coming up here from the water that matches yeah about to there that should be good We'll probably end up a little bit taller than this, but so far, I think that's a pretty good height. Also did get a little carried away and started bringing a rock around this corner. And apparently uh, we're just getting rid of a lot of the dirt reaching up. I got this section. I guess I need to sort this next too. Okay, yeah, just place blocks. Easy. So progress. That's that right there. That's a little bit of progress. Got some progress here. Oh yeah. Ooh, here's a little bit more progress. Oh, hi, zombie. You came over to see all the progress I'm making? Yeah, I know. It's great, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Big progress. Okay, now I just got to do that again all the way over here. To be very productive, like so extremely productive, I started to connect the different lines to build out a little bit of a better shape here. So yeah, now that I've figured this out, we just need to fill in all those blank spaces. Easy peasy, just coloring in the lines. But I did run out of another two boxes of stone here, so... uh quick distraction as I've got to fill those up. Also for reference, I'm keeping track of how many blocks I place based on the number of shulker boxes I clear out. Each shulker is 1,740 blocks, and so far we've cleared about 13 in total, meaning I've placed roughly 22,620 blocks. And off of the shorts that I posted a while ago, all to kick off this challenge, I currently owe 101,800 blocks the last time I took count of it all. Probably a little bit more, but hey, we're 22% of the way done. Aw, oh, man, another distraction. I mean, wait, I gotta go repair my elytra right now. Ah, oh, bummer. I guess I can't get to placing in those blocks yet. Hi, puppies. Guess what? We're gonna get some new siblings for you soon oh i'm so excited for the new dog variants i just saw the news okay i'm dating this video but i just saw it i'm so excited for the new dogs why do i kind of look like magneto or like the juggernaut right now kind of giving those vibes there we go all fixed up i swear i didn't plan this but uh i'm actually almost out of rockets so we can grab ourselves a little bit more sugar cane make a quick stop back at world spawn and fill up on some moss again then a quick pit stop here at the first mountain for a little bit of our gunpowder right that'll keep us flying for a little bit distraction project's over time to get back to work on this mess okay i feel all around in the world enough and i am hoping to post this video before the summer gets here so i really need to get along with building this first stretch of the mountain i do plan to add more behind this in future phases of the project and really turn this into a mountain range but for now i'm focusing on just this section of the build for now two more hours sunk into this and we've got a few pillager friends down here along the river but that is starting to look pretty good with our first whole section of the mountain coming down to the water it's definitely fitting the wonky vibes that we have with our original mountain as i want it to feel a little fantastical so i'm actually really liking how this is coming together Blah, 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 coming together i filled up on stone again to continue working left to right on this mountain to slowly move towards blending these steeper peaks into the ridge line that we built earlier in today's episode as much as i just said well just said a, a few hours ago that i had cleared 13 shulker boxes i cleared out uh another four shulker boxes during that time lapse i'm really trying to build this from the angle back here and i am liking it a lot i know that's really weird sticking so far up but when we bring the mountain back it'll probably come something 
and around there when we start bending further around our corner but for now I need more stone to fill that in thankfully all of these double chests are still full of stone so I'm not too worried about running out anytime soon build up and time to get back to the mountain oh my gosh we can see it from here ah I love 80 chunk render distance I've definitely been adding a lot more moss up here for the mountains than I am for our like drier path blocky highlands biome as I might transition this to snow when we get even taller on the mountain as I want it to feel a little bit more lush than the drier, almost colder environment we'll make in there, as that's gonna actually have to merge into a snowy biome eventually. Figure we can be a little bit more lush on this edge here and then transition across to the snow. And for the top up here, we can kind of just round it out and make it a little bit flatter than we have for the other spaces. And we end with some of the low like that. And there we go. Our top section is now done for this little peak here. Meaning I've just got down there from the bottom up through here. If I can fill in this section here, it'll actually cleanly divide it into two fairly even ones. I'm definitely at the light at the end of the tunnel phase right here. And I'm just going to kind of fly through it all. five hours into this project now and bam we've got ourselves the start of a new mountain this is starting to shape up very nicely all the way for water level at y62 we've made it up to the top of the peak here at y177 i told myself i put 50 hours max into this project to get it started y yeah yeah i i know how stupid that sounds so for the final five hours i want to focus on extending our highland terrain farther back from the river and here we've got all this dirt ready to go i probably need to start with some more of our defining elements like our rivers to shape those out at least where they're going to be going and I thought for this one we could kind of hook it a little bit here to this way now that we have a little bit more distance off of the mountain I want to actually start hooking it coming back a little bit sharper over this side now this one's definitely on the smaller side so I'm just going to make it about three blocks wide and this one's probably only going to be one maybe two blocks deep my main goal today is to set myself up for success with future expansions making the difficult decisions now and then we just have to fill in the blanks with all of our blocks to continue the train afterwards which adding in this river will help out a lot with water is now in place and I'm very happy with it minus one little piece of ice in the river uh, I'm a little worried that we're over the mountain bound we're now at the certain elevation where all of this is going to eventually turn into ice so to fix that we can add in some seagrass as once there's grass on the blocks the ice can't form well I guess I did eventually want this to turn to a snowy mountain so maybe some ice coming down the river isn't the worst we'll just add in a lot of our grass to make sure it's not everywhere overall though I like that I like that shape and we can keep it going and the mountain's definitely going to keep growing back here now for the other river I want to send it back to the far side of our highland biome so I needed to climb it up pretty quickly to reach our plateaued region I refilled up on dirt again here and I'm working on creating a few more connection lines linking this new river back into the rest of the train we have and I've been going a little crazy here the spider web of dirt is starting to slowly come together first segment here is now done with a little bit of wheat added in too as well as uh two shulker boxes of dirt to stretch up all the way back there this is uh getting pretty big extending guidelines out the back helps me to create a much more natural shape instead of just winging it while I try and build backwards as I find that I kind of start to default into different patterns that way instead of trying to figure out how to make these two random guidelines that I put in meet up together I got a little carried away and uh we're down six shulker boxes of dirt already and well uh we're two-thirds of the way almost through our seventh box here already the carried away part though our terrain is starting to look very very cool I really want to connect our two dirt platforms together here as it looks a little weird right now I just need a lot more dirt to finish this guy we've already seen this before so here's me refilling all of those boxes of dirt from underneath seven shulkers full and I absolutely hate it under here there are so many creepers and i've now broken almost three netherite shovels not even to mention the two hoes right elytra back on and let's make it even worse down here i set up the shulker boxes here at the upper level then got back to work terraforming to build out this brand new landscape as i found out each time i had to go get more blocks i was wasting five or six durability on the elytra and two to three rockets so this will help me be more sus and actually complete the project faster at the same time and here we have the last few blocks of dirt going down to cover our entire well start of the landscape the entire start oh my gosh that looks so good right 
from the thumbnail spot what's it look like something about like right here and ooh, with the sun setting oh that's looking so good one more addition i do want that golden color from the path box so i shoveled my way through our new region and added in a few stacks of our wheat seeds growing slowly around here so slowly but we now have roughly 34,800 blocks placed on our landscape this has been a journey to get here already from removing an entire biome worth of trees covering that entire space with a new layer of dirt reaching up into the sky all they start a brand new landscape roughly 50 blocks above the old landscape with the start of a new mountain range along with it leading ourselves back here with the start of this massive project at a pretty good point. I am so absolutely excited to keep this going and I hope you all are as well. Please subscribe to help me make this even bigger and leave a like too as it helps me out a ton.